What's up, Internet? It's me, Obsidian Spectre, bringer of evil, ready to talk DC TV for this week. First up, let's get into it. Monday night, brand new episode of Lucifer. Yeah, we didn't forget about you, Lucifer fans. We got you covered. Okay, a bunch of crazy stuff's going down, and this is what we know. Last week, Lucifer told Dr. Martin that he was, in fact, the devil. Showed her with his face. With his face! And then, this week's episode has got Chloe dealing with this. The man who allegedly killed her father gets released from prison and then gets killed himself. But then new evidence surfaces that maybe shows that he was framed. So Chloe's gotta go find the actual killer of her father, which is a lot of stress. So Lucifer decides to help out by just kind of messing around like he always does. He just kind of does whatever he wants. He does whatever he wants. He's the devil. He can get away with that. But this is what Lucifer has on his mind this week. He understands that being the devil is a problem, that people don't like him, they don't appreciate his help. So, in an effort to become more normal, he decides to shadow, of all people, Dan. So now we've got a lucid Dan walking around, or rather a, a douchefer, that's what he preferred, a douchefer, uh, walking around try, attempting to be normal. Meanwhile, we've got Maze looking for a new job, but she's a demon, so what's all that about? Oh my goodness. And then Lucifer finds out a deep, dark secret about Dan. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what it is, because sometimes here on DCTV we've got those inside scoops, those delicious, delicious scoops. They told me that I couldn't tell you this, I'm just gonna do it anyway. And of course they're gonna be nice and leave it in the edit. But here's the secret. Dan does improv. And he's actually pretty good at it. So watch that happening tonight on Lucifer. You're gonna have a sexy good time. I'm the devil. Hey, and I don't care how you watch it, but you better be watching Supergirl, also happening tonight, Monday night. Here's what's happening. Let me give you the lowdown. A new gang shows up, and they are heavily armored with alien technology. What? Who's doing that? If you're watching the show, you might have a pretty good idea. Plus, mon -El finally comes front and center. Yes, Kara is so excited to have a new alien person in her life. She's going to help him assimilate to Earth culture, so she hooks him up with a human identity of Mike Matthews and a human job, an internship at CatCo. Is he good at his job, or is he just adorable? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to tune in and watch it to find out. Plus, James Olsen makes a very important decision about what he's going to do in his life. And we're finally gonna get the answer to the question, is Alex Danvers like into Maggie Sawyer? But like, is she into her though? Maybe we're gonna find out tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Plus, Lena Luthor invites Kara and Supergirl to the same party at the same time. You know what that means? It's Operation Doubtfire in full effect. Bam, bam, bam. Should be pretty easy with superpowers. All right, here's your comic book connect. You wanna learn everything you need to know about Monel? Then check out this classic Superboy comic from 1961, issue number 89. It is the first appearance of Monel. It is his origin. You got everything that you need to know. He shows up. Superboy Clark Kent is super stoked, and then maybe learns more about him. And then I don't want to tell you what happened. But it's really, really good. So there's your comic book connect. Check it out. And that's what's happening on Supergirl tonight. Ah, I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty awesome. I should do more of that. We got the budget for that, right? Plus, on an all-new Legends of Manana happening Thursday, the team tracks down a time quake from 1987, pretty tubular year, to the White House where they learn that, wait, what? Damian Dark is a senior advisor to President Reagan? <laughs> what? I don't remember that from history class. Are you kidding me? Is Damian Dark trying to heat up the Cold War? <laughs> Stop. Plus, an old Professor Stein meets a young Professor Stein who is adorable, and we get an old obsidian from the JSA, played by legendary actor Lance Henriksen. It is awesome, one of my favorite cameos of the show so far. Be sure to check it out. And in the meantime, Mick is reeling from the fact that Captain Cold is no longer on the team. He misses his best friend and his buddy, Leonard Snart. He's thinking about replacing him, but he's finding that it's difficult to replace him, so he's gonna go ahead and recruit Ray Palmer to do that. Listen, Ray, buddy, <laughs> you're a nice guy, but I, I just don't know if you've got a cold bone in you, pal, all right? It takes a lot to be evil. I haven't even mentioned the best part about this episode, Reverse Flash. This guy, whew, he is just pure evil. It is awesome. He's got his stuff together. You know what I mean? He is just so solid. If I could just like talk to him and, and maybe just pick his brain about what it means to be evil and, oh, that'd be so awesome, man. I, I wonder what that would be like. Wow. Matt, thanks so much for talking to us, man. Oh, it's my pleasure. Really thanks appreciate for it. Really me. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. First question for you: uh -huh. What's going on this week on Legends of Tomorrow with your character, the Reverse Flash? Uh, well, this is where uh, uh, Eobard Thawne, which is the Reverse Flash's real human name, uh, really uh, forges more of an alliance with Damian Dark, like sort of sets something in stone, you know, mm -hmm. moving forward. 
Um, so, you know, we see a lot of, and it's set in the 80s, so you get the, the kitsch factor of the 80s. Yeah. Um, so that's, there's like, that's where the first sort of links of Legion of Doom start to fall into place. Right there in the 80s in 1987, yeah, exactly. the birth of the Legion of Doom. What was it like right. to see that 80s car pull up? And to see Neil McDonough in that classic <laughs> Miami Vice. That ice cream suit? Yeah. Uh, that was pretty badass. Uh, we took some pictures, couldn't help it, and uh, they're some of my favorites. It's been great. Can you tell the fans, Matt, when we're going to yeah. see the full-on Legion of Doom? Uh, I think uh, past the midway point, you're going to see everybody start coming together. So start looking, see like episode seven, eight, nine-ish in there. You're going to start seeing everything coalesce and us moving forward against the legends. Yeah. Matt, what's the best thing about killing people? Uh, the sense of completion, you know, of a job well done. Uh, that's always satisfying. Um, that sounds good. There really is no going back from that. I mean, oh. yes, Lazarus Pit, all this stuff. You know, there's, what? there's technically what? you can come back. Mm -hmm. that, technically, okay. you can come back. Technically, okay. I'm not right. saying it's easy. I'm just saying you could. Uh, but um, yeah. What advice would you give Matt to somebody who had, let's say, for example, an insatiable bloodlust? Hmm. Well, um, you need the right tools. Caffeine is the secret to That's any amazing. successful plan. Well, thank you, Matt. I think that you have sent me personally on a path that there's no going back from, but I'm very excited about. And thank you for telling us about the season of Legends of Tomorrow. It's been my pleasure. I feel really good about you. I oh, feel like really? you're, Do you think I could future. maybe join the Legion of Doom? No, no. But um, uh, you can come uh, audit for a little bit. You can sit in and audit. Oh, like, uh, like thank a college you. class? Oh, that'd be so great. Absolutely. I'd learn so much. Yeah, learn so sure. Much. No okay, problem. Great. We might have right. to kill you afterwards, but. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Pet. Right, I'll just do that. Listen, don't tell Damien, but you're my favorite. Oh, on the, on the that Legion. is so cute. Okay, yeah. all right, I won't kill you. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, that's probably exactly how that would go. And then we'd be friends, and then he'd invite me to the Legion of Doom, and then I'd be like rubbing, you know, shoulders with like Damien Dark and Reverse Flash, and oh, man, it'd be so cool. I'll get there someday, guys. Look, Look out, out for, for a city, city inspector. inspector. Coming soon to a city near you. Yes. A city that will soon be in my grasp and in my grips. You hear me, Jason and Tiffany? You don't stand a chance, you fools. <laughs> I'm working on my laugh. I'm working on my laugh. But that's happening on Legends of Tomorrow, guys, Thursday. So beware. Check it out. You see? Because I'm Captain Cold. Yeah, you better watch out. Oh, and speaking of Obsidian, here's your comic book connect, guys. Here's an awesome storyline. It's called Darkness Falls. It happened in JSA issues 7 through 9, released in 2000. Obsidian shrouds an entire city in darkness. He's really showing off his power. It is awesome, and it's going to get you in the mood to watch Lance Henriksen on Thursday. And here's the rest of your DC lineup. New episode of Gotham on Monday night. New episode of Arrow on Wednesday. No new Flash this week, but it's okay, because I wore my Flash shirt, so there you go. On the last episode of DC TV, we asked you guys, what kind of spin-offs would you like to see from the various DC TV shows? And y'all replied in kind. And I'm going to read some comments right now. Here we go. Jordan Valdez says, I would love to see a Titans slash Young Justice spinoff with Artemis, Kid Flash, Jesse Quick, Miss Martian, Speedy, and Arsenal. A lot of likes on that one. That was a good one. That's really good. <clears throat> Cal Gumbo says, yes, I was finally noticed. Also pitching a new DC spinoff, Young Justice starring Wally West, McGann Moores, Evelyn Sharp, and mon -El. Nice lineup. Good lineup. Matt Illett says, the JSA would be an awesome show. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Daddy Hill says, I would want a Cat Grant slash Metropolis spinoff series because Cat Grant is awesome. Yeah, let's get some more Callista up in here. Oh, oh, Rye Flockhart, you know what I'm talking about. MCD House says Justice Society of America should get a spinoff, which takes place after Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, Episode 2. Maybe they could add Power Girl and Jay Garrick to the roster. That'd be good. Are y'all TV executives? Y'all should be. These are some good, good ideas. Vulcan Tastan says, I would definitely watch a TV series based on Alfred the Butler. He has a last name, and it's Pennyworth, which would be a great name for a TV show. I would watch Pennyworth. Coming this fall on CW, Pennyworth. The young, sexy adventures of the young, sexy Alfred Pennyworth as he works for the Wayne family and helps a child with a traumatic event. Tonight, on an all-new Pennyworth, he dusts a clock while his boss goes and fights crime. <clears throat> uh, ooh, Thomas De La Roque says, it would be amazing to have Martian Manhunter in his own TV show. Nice, nice. Full of Oreo cookies. The Real Arrow 246 says, I think Wild Dog should get his own show. <laughs> Jason Inman, is that you? <laughs> get out of there, Jason. <laughs> get out of there, or I will take you out. <laughs> Jason, 
he's not even gonna watch this. Oh, he's so busy. Harry Miles says, I'd want a Teen Titans TV show. They are amazing. P.S. Hector, don't give in to the dark side. You can't tell me what to do, Harry. Don't you ever tell me how to live my life again. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for all the support. Harry, you're a cool dude. Guys, that's it for DCTV this week, but be sure to head over to the hashtag DCTV Couch Club over on DCComics.com for full recaps of this week's episodes. I gotta get out of here, guys. I got invited to a Legion of Doom meeting that I'm gonna head over to right now. <laughs> and then I'm going to take over the Legion of Doom. Wait, no, I should make friends first. That'll be the second meeting. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.